ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாய்ராம் ஹார்ட்டி வெல்கம் டு ஸ்ரீ சத்ய சாய் லோக் சேவா குருகுலம் ஆன்லைன் கிளாஸஸ் அந்த வெரி இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் பிரான்ச் ஆஃப் மேத்தமேட்டிக்ஸ் கால்டு ட்ரிக்னாமெட்ரிக் ரேஷியோஸ் இட் இஸ் ரேஷியோ இட் இஸ் நாட் ஏ யூனோ டைரெக்ட் ஃபிகர் here you compare two sides so we have seen in the previous classes the meaning of trigonometry three means three gon means sides metri means measure so measurement of a triangle and it has got lot of applications in astronomy in finding the width of the rivers and in finding the heights of the hillocks in finding the velocity of aeroplanes and so on so beautiful uh, branch of mathematics and here uh, all the trigonometric ratios comes under the right angle triangle we take a right angle triangle as you know every right angle triangle has some special properties one of the property is that one angle will be 90 degrees and uh, which is the longest side longest side is called hypotenuse and uh, biggest angle is 90 degrees and other two angles will be acute angles so we call it as angle theta here what is theta theta is given a name given to an angle where the value is not fixed is it not if the cap this become theta this will be 90 minus theta because sum of these two is 90 degrees and what is this side called this side is called adjacent side adjacent means next to adjacent side and this side is called opposite side is opposite to angle theta so we have got uh, six ratios is it not and uh, one of them is sin theta sin theta is opposite side by hypotenuse suppose you call it as x here this is y here this is r here anyway you can take so sin theta is y by r opposite side by hypotenuse what is cos theta cos theta is adjacent side by hypotenuse that is x by r what is tan theta tan theta is opposite side by adjacent side y by x and other three angles are reciprocals of this for example you have cosec theta cosec theta is reciprocal of sin theta that is r by y what is r hypotenuse by opposite side and what is second secant theta that is a reciprocal of cos theta r by x lastly what is cot theta cot theta is reciprocal of tan theta so that will be equal to adjacent side by opposite side so these are the six uh, ratios what you find in trigonometry and also there will be interrelationship between them i just now is telling about that 
reciprocals. Also, there are <coughs> two more interrelations. One is called tan theta is equal to sin theta by cos theta. <coughs> also, cos theta is equal to cot theta. Sorry. And if you take cot theta, it is reverse of that. Is it not? And uh, just now you have told all those relations now. And also we have studied about uh, trigonometric identities. There are three important identities as far as trigonometry is concerned. One is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. One identity. Another one, 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sec square theta and 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cosec square theta. These are the three identities you have studied already, is it not? And also you studied about complementary angles. What do you mean complementary angles? If the sum of the two angles is uh, 90 degrees, we call them as complementary angles. If one angle is 30 degrees, the complementary of 30 is 60, is it not? Suppose one angle is 40, complementary of 40 is 50. Like that, they are called as complementary angles and uh, all these ratios will be little change will be there. For example, sine of 90 minus theta is cos theta cos of 90 minus theta is sin theta, tan of 90 minus theta is cot theta, cot of 90 minus theta is tan theta, like that. We have complementary angles which you already studied in the previous classes. And also we have seen about T ratios of angles 45 degrees and 90 degrees in the previous class. Remember? Huh? Yes, so all the angles for uh, sin 45, cos 45, tan 45, all the values you have seen in the previous class. Similarly, sin 30, cos 30, tan 30 and so on. Okay, now we shall see some home assignments. Okay, so for home assignments, First question, in a triangle PQR, right angle at Q, PQ is 5 centimeters, angle R is 30 degrees. So, there is a right angle triangle. And this is right angle at Q. You are given that PQ is 5 centimeters. Angle R is 30 degrees. That is theta. Find QR and PR. You must think of the ratios of you know 30 degrees. So, for example, if you want to find QR, you must find out the ratio which is you know, compared to these two. This is called opposite side, this is called adjacent side. So, as you have to find out uh, QR, so you have a uh, 30 degrees angle. So, you have to take uh, cot 30. Cot 30 is equal to QR by PQ. What is the value of cot 30? Cot 30 is equal to root of 3. So, this is root of 3 is equal to QR we do not know. 
q r by what is p q phi so therefore q r becomes bring this side phi u root 3 okay and similarly using this uh, pq and qr you can find out pr so in right angle triangle pqr angle q is equal to 90 degrees given is it not so use pythagoras theorem pythagoras theorem says hypotenuse square is equal to come on anybody sum of the squares of the other two sides which other two sides one is called pq and there is called qr so this is by pythagoras theorem who was pythagoras is a very famous uh, mathematician greek mathematician and of course this theorem was proved in india also before him baskara acharya has proved the proof for that but uh, it had not come to light then so anyway the credit goes to pythagoras so here we have to find out pr what is pq pq is a uh, phi square what is qr phi root 3 square that will be 25 plus phi u square is 25 into 3 75 totally it becomes 100 is it not so pr square is 100 therefore pr is equal to root of 100 how much 10 cm so this becomes 10 this is 5 root 3 this becomes 10 cm okay that is our answer for this question that is a two marks question okay now coming to second question in triangle abc right angle let c so this right angle let c a b c a c is 4 cm and then a b is 8 cm find angle a and b and um b c we have to find out is it not how to find out bc we have to take a in triangle abc angle acb is 90 degrees so we can use pythagoras theorem no yes come on apply it we get ab square is equal to ac square plus bc square that is pythagoras theorem and uh, come on put the values ab square is 8 square what is ac ac is 4 bc don't know so take bc square is equal to 8 square is 64 bring this side minus 16 so that will be equal to 48 so bc becomes root of 48 root of 48 is nothing but 16 into 3 that is 4 root 3 so bc becomes 4 root 3 now you have to find the 
ratios we have to one angle find out is enough for example if you take a sin of an angle theta here suppose you call it as theta so sin theta will be y by r opposite side by hypotenuse so 4 by 8 so that is equal to half and therefore theta so when that uh, value of sin theta become half when theta becomes 30 degrees so because sin 30 is sin 30 is half so if this is 30 this will become 60 because sum of the three angles so theta 30 means what what is the name of the angle therefore you can write angle b is equal to 30 degrees angle b is equal to 30 degrees now use this and find out angle a in triangle abc what is sum of the, all the three angles yes 180 degrees right so angle a plus angle b plus angle c is equal to 180 degrees and a is how much a don't know a as it is you keep and then b b is just now i found out 30 and c is already given 90 So, 30 plus 90 is equal to 180. So, angle A becomes 180 minus 120 is equal to 60 degrees. So, angle A becomes 60. So, A is 60, B is 30, C is 90. It's okay. Take it on. Nice, very nice. Now we will pass on to today's topic. So, in the previous class, we have seen about uh, angles 30 degrees and 45 degrees, all the trigonometric ratios. Now, three more remaining one is 60, then is 90, and then other one is 0. Now, all of you know in a graph there will be two axes one is called x axis this is x y x dash is x axis y o y dash is y axis so what is o a o a is a ray what is a ray you heard about sun rays what is special is sun rays the rays are coming from sun therefore you call sun rays is it not? So also that is the original point will be there O. So let us suppose that OA start from OX and rotate in an anti-clockwise direction. So here it is moving in an anti-clockwise direction. In a temple you go around. Is it not? From how, how you go around to the temple? Left to right, right? That is called clockwise direction and this is right to left therefore it is called as anti-clockwise direction so let us suppose that uh, the OX rotates such that it makes an angle of 60 degrees so the angle here is 60 degrees so it was here it went like this so what happens then then you get, uh, suppose you take a point called uh, P, take any point P on OA. So, P is any point, it may be here or anywhere in this. Draw PM perpendicular to OX. So, this is PM, this is OX. That should be drawn perpendicular because 
all our trigonometry ratios are referring to right angle triangle okay now you produce that om to om dash om is here produced to om dash now what do you get so if you produce om to om dash such that om is equal to om dash join pm dash so this is joined now let om is equal to a units if om is equal to a this also becomes a totally it becomes 2a is it not so you see in triangle pmo this is pmo and pmm dash there are two right angle triangles you have done uh, pm is equal to pm this common side pm is common side here for both the triangles and uh, pmo is equal to pmm dash so these two angles are 90 degrees that is a perpendicular drawn and then you have done construction om is equal to om dash the construction done okay therefore you have pmo is equal to pmm dash these two triangles are congruent is it not that means if you cut the triangle pmo and keep it on pmm dash both will be equal and therefore we have pom is equal to pm dash m these two angles will be equal that is also 60 this already 90 these two will be 9 30 30 so what do you get then so we say that pom dash is an equilateral triangle which means if this is 2a this also becomes 2a this also becomes 2a that is the meaning so pom dash is a right angle is an equilateral triangle what is equilateral triangle if all the three sides of a triangle are equal we call it as equilateral triangle what about angles angles also if this is 60 this also is 60 and this also becomes 60 all the angles are equal all the sides are equal and we have taken uh, op as 2a units it is equal to pm dash is equal to om dash is equal to 2a we have taken 2a for convenience purpose you can take x also m also p also no uh, no issue okay now with this we will try to solve the ratios we will get the value of ratios so in triangle right in right angle triangle pmo pmo you take op square this is hypotenuse op square that is hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the squares of two sides one is om and this is op m pm so by pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the squares of the other two sides so here we have taken this as 2a and this becomes a is it not and uh, then what about uh, so 2a whole square is equal to pm square plus a square so pm becomes 3a square or pm become root 3a so in the right angle triangle it will like this remember so this we taken as o this as p and this as m right so pm becomes root 3 ये 
this is 2a this is a and this is right angled because it is a perpendicular drawn and now we are finding this angle is 60 degrees so why you got all these things so far just to find out the length of pm okay and now you write the ratios different ratios so sin 60 sin 60 will be equal to opposite side by hypotenuse so root 3 opposite side means pm by op pm by op root 3a by 2a a a cancels root 3 by 2 what about cos 60 adjacent side by hypotenuse that is om by op that is a by 2a so ones are ones are cancels a cancels you get half tan 60 tan 60 is y by x opposite side by pm by om so root 3a by a so a a cancels you get root 3 and all other ratios are reciprocals of this similarly you have a uh, cos x 60 is 1 by 6 1 by 60 1 by root 3 by 2 becomes 2 by root 3 sin secant 60 1 by cos 60 1 by half that is 2 cot 60 1 by tan 60 1 by root of 3 okay so these are the six ratios of 60 degrees it's nice yes now let us pass on to 90 degrees sin 90 is 1 therefore cosec 90 also is 1 and cos 90 is 0 and therefore secant reciprocal of that is uh, not defined here you get to 1 what is called as 1 by 0 so secant 90 1 by 0 we call it also as uh, infinity that symbol is stand for infinity suppose you say how many stars are there in the sky can you measure no what do you call it infinity and how do you define god god is anoronian mahato mahiyan biggest of the biggest smallest of the smallest is it not he is as big that we cannot imagine he is as small as we cannot uh, define is it not then what is our existence very small speck in this universe right so that value is called as infinity so cos 90 is 0 therefore sec 90 is uh, not defined means it is infinity lastly cot 90 is 0 therefore tan 90 is not defined again tan 90 becomes a uh, 1 by cot 90 that 1 by 0 becomes infinity that we call it as not defined okay and lastly you have uh, zeros so all this if you put here to remember it now there is a easy method of remembering it how to remember all this we have got 0 30 45 60 90 sin theta sin 0 is 0 sin 30 is half sin 45 is 1 by root 2 sin 60 is root by 3 by 2 and uh, sin 90 is 1 how to remember and you should not confuse anywhere because if you don't know the values you cannot get uh, you cannot apply in the problems so how to remember is first you write all here denominator as 4 start with sign if you know 1 is enough all you put as denominator as 4 all this you write root of 4 okay in case of sign 
we have gone putting numerator starting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Increasing order in case of sine. In, cos of, in the case of cos, reverse order. So, root of 0 by 4 is 0, root of 1 by 4 is 4, root of 4 is 2, 1 by 2, root of 2 by 4 is 1 by root 2, root of 3 by 4 is root 3 by 2 and root of 4 by 4 is 1. Now, just to reverse this, this will become here 1, this will come here root 3 by 2 and this is as it is, this will come here, this will come here. Again, as you are done there, it was increasing order, it is decreasing order. See, first numerator is 4, second numerator is 3, third is 2, fourth is 1, fifth is 0. That is all. Remember at least 2 of them. Then how do you get 10? Divide this by this, sin theta by cos theta, 0 by 1 is 0, half by root 3 by 2 is 1 by root 3. 1 by root 2 by 1 by root 2, that is 1, root 3 by 2 by half, root 3, 1 by 0, not defined. And then others will follow automatically, cot theta is 1 by 10, all these values, cosec theta 1 by sin, all these values, secant theta 1 by cos, all these values. Is it okay? You practice it and uh, try to recall it because if you know that correctly, then uh, you can apply it in the problems. For example, you have sin squared 60 plus cos squared 45. First, you must know value of sin 60. If I refer the table, sin 60 is root 3 by 2. And uh, what is cos? Cos 45. By referring table, of course, in later stage you can by heart it. Cos 45 is 1 by root 2. Apply it there. So you have sin squared 60. Evaluate means what? Find the value of, is it not? Plus cos square 45. Now values you have to square it. Sin square 60 is root 3 by 2. Square of that. Cos square is, cos 45 is 1 by root 2. Square of that. So you have root 3 by 2 whole square becomes 3 by 4 and 1 by root 2 square becomes 1 by 2 and LCM is 4, this is 3 here plus 2, so answer is 5 by 4, 5 by 4, okay. That is the answer you can uh, write in uh, improper form if you want, 1, 1 by 4. That is also okay. So, that is the value of the given expression. Now, we will pass on to second question. 2 sin square 30 minus 2 cos square 45 plus tan square 60. Note down. So, you here you must know sin 30. How much? Half cos 45, how much? 1 by root 2, tan 60, how much? Tan 60 is root 3, apply that, that is all, you can do it? Yes, you can do now, okay. Now, give an expression 2 sin square 30 minus 2 cos square 45 plus tan square 60. 
this is a given. Now I apply that value. Come on, two into sine thirty is half, so half square. Two into cos forty five is one by root two square. One by root two square. And then tan square sixty is root three square. Okay, now this will be two into one by four minus two into root of one by root two square becomes one by two. Root three square is three. Two ones are two ones are two ones are two two are. So this is half. Minus one plus three. One three minus one is two. Two plus half. Two and half. Two and half. Or you can write it as five by two. Both are same. Or five by two. If you take LCM. This will be LCM is two here. One, one two za. Three za. So three plus one is four minus two. Two one za two, one two za two, and one three two two into three is six. So this will be six plus one seven minus two five by two. So both are same. Anyway, you can take. Okay, this is the answer for this question. And next question. Next question is tan forty five by cosec thirty. So we want the value for tan forty five. How much? Tan forty-five as per table is one. Cosec thirty. All values you apply. Cosec thirty as per table is a two. Second sixty as per table is second sixty is two. And then you have cot forty five. That is also one. One by one is one. Then if we want uh, sine ninety. Sine ninety also is one. Then cos zero. That is also one. Cos zero is also one. Now use these values and find the Value of that. So the given expression tan forty five by so you can write left hand side. Whenever they say verify that or prove that like that, there will be two sides. This is called left hand side. At that time is called right hand side. So tan forty five by cosec thirty plus secant sixty. Second sixty by cot forty five minus five sine ninety minus five sine ninety. By two cos zero. Come on, apply values. Tan forty five is one. Cosec thirty is two. Secant sixty is two. Cot forty five is one. Minus five sine ninety is one. Two cos cos zero is one. 
So, you have if you take LCM is 2, 2 1s are 2, 1 2s are 2 2s are 4 minus 5. So, 5 minus 5 that is equal to 0 by 2. Five minus five is zero by two. That is zero by two. That is equal to zero. So that is what you have to prove. So answer also will be a big zero. That is right hand side. Such a big question comes to a very short answer in the last. Is it not? Take it down. Very nice. Shall we pass on to next one? Yes. If theta is to 30, prove that 2 tan theta by 1 minus tan square theta. As usual, you have to prove that. Therefore, left hand side. 2 into tan theta by 1 minus tan square theta. Are you taking it down? Yeah, do not be lazy, be fast. Forward. So, that is 2 into tan 30 by 1 minus tan square 30. What is tan 30? tan 30 is 1 by root 3. So, 2 into 1 by root 3 by 1 minus tan square 30. Square means square you must make. So, this will be 2 by root 3 by 1 minus 1 by 3. 1 minus 1 by 3. So, that will be equal to 2 by root 3 into if you take LCM 3 minus 1 is 2 2 by 3. So, 2 by root 3 here and this will be if you take 3 LCM 3 1s are 3 minus 1. So, that is 2 by 3. If you reverse it, 3 by 2 it becomes. So, 3 by root 3. 3 by root 3 is also equal to if you rationalize denominator. So, multiply by root 3 here and root 3 here. You get 3 root 3 by 3. 3 3 cancels, you get root 3. And when you get uh, root 3 in tan 60, that is equal to tan 60. And right hand side says tan of 2 theta, that is tan of 60 that is root 3. So, right hand, left hand side also root 3, right hand side also root 3. So, shall we agree that both the left hand side is equal to right hand side. So, what is given is true. So, please follow once again 2 tan 30, theta is 30. Tan 30 is 1 by root 3 minus divided by 1 minus tan square theta, 1 by root 3 square. So, 2 into 1 by 3 means 2 by root 3 it becomes. Here you take LCM 3 minus 1 by 3. Reverse it, cancel, you get the answer as root 3 and that is tan 60. Is it alright? Taken? Nice. So, we will pass on to 
नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम एंड दट इज अ टेन स्क्वायर थर्टी प्लस हाफ सो टेन थर्टी इज अ रूट ऑफ थ्री वन बाय रूट थ्री सॉरी वन बाय रूट थ्री साइन फोर्टी फाइव साइन फोर्टी फाइव इज वन बाय रूट टू कास थर्टी कास थर्टी इज इक्वल टू रूट थ्री बाय टू लास्टली कार्ड सिक्सटी कार्ड सिक्सटी इज इक्वल टू वन बाय रूट थ्री फर्स्ट बाय रेफरिंग टेबल ऑफ कोर्स इन ड्यू कोर्स यू कैन इट कम बाय हार्ट अंटिल गेट बाय हार्ट यू हैव टू रेफर द टेबल एंड गेट द वैल्यूज फॉर ऑल दैट इज गिवन सो लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज इक्वल टू टेन स्क्वायर थर्टी प्लस हाफ साइन स्क्वायर फोर्टी फाइव प्लस वन बाय थ्री का स्क्वायर थर्टी अरे फॉलोइंग इट आर नॉट फॉलोइंग ओके प्लस कॉट स्क्वायर सिक्सटी रिटर्न ओके टेन स्क्वायर थर्टी मीन्स वन बाय रूट थ्री स्क्वायर हाफ ऑफ साइन साइन फोर्टी फाइव इज वन बाय रूट टू so sin square that square you must make 1 by 3 into cos 30 is root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 square cot 60 is 1 by root 3 square because it is cot square now this will be 1 by 3 this is a half and root of 2 square is 2 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 That is one by four. This is a uh, root three square is three, two square is four. So three by four. Three and three cancels. You get one by four. Are you following? See here, one by three into square of this, three by four. Three ones are three ones are. You get one by four. Plus one by root three square. Root three into root three becomes three. Now take LCM. How much? LCM is twelve. Three fours are twelve. Four threes are twelve. Four threes are twelve. Three fours are twelve. Add all this. Four plus three is seven. Ten, fourteen. So fourteen by twelve. Two sevens are. Two six za. Is it the same answer? Yes. Both left hand side and right hand side are same. Is it not? So what is to be proved is proved. Therefore, you can write left hand side so much bigger up to there. Came to a very short and sweet answer. That is seven by six. Finished. Okay. I hope all of you are very fast. Now we'll move to next problem and uh, come into home assignments. Find the value of cot square thirty six square forty five plus cos cos x square forty five and cos sixty. That is the first sum. Here you have to get the value from the tables. Evaluate tan 45 cos by cos cosec 30, secant 60 by cot 45, minus 5 is minus 90 by 2 cos 0. Evaluate mean find a value. If a is equal 30 degrees, prove that sin 2a is equal to 2 tan a by 1 plus tan square a. Will come prepare. Okay. Now let us see what Sadguru says. Sadguru quotation. You are not one person, but three. How three? 
the one you think you are we think that we are body i am so height i have got uh, this face hand this that but uh, others will think you in different type they will think that your mind you are dull you are intelligent you are a singer you are a dancer like that they think it is mind but really we are neither the body nor the mind but we are atma sat satchidananda swarupa is it not that's what our sadguru says so one you think you are the one you one others think you are one you really are all should become one all should become one that is atma okay and come prepared for the answers thank you